Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Zolapo. If it's your first time here, hello and welcome. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a cap with ruffles attached to it. I have a video that shows how to make the cap base. So you need to watch the video first before proceeding to this one. So I'm using satin to make my cap. And in the previous video, I shared how to make a satin cap using elastic. So you can decide to use any fabric of choice. I'll put the link in the description box below so you have access to the video immediately. If you are yet to join the family, please do so by subscribing to this channel. On this channel, I post videos on DIYs, headwear tutorials, business tips and tricks. If this interests you, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, I've cut out my fabric and the length is 60 inches by the width 6 inches. 60 inches by 6 inches. And I have it in 3 places. Okay, I cut out 3 pieces of this. So I'm going to fold each of the pieces into 2 with the right side of the fabric facing up. I fold in half and I'm going to stitch from one end to the other end by a quarter inch. I'll just stitch like that all the way down having done that i'm going to push the right side of the fabric out i've done that as you can see and i've already pushed the right side of the fabric out so the next step is to move the same part to the side you can as well iron your fabric but just make sure you don't make it too flat at this point so i have a piece of fabric which i have cut out just a little bit long piece of fabric I'm going to be using my safety pin right now to insert it into one of the strips I have. So with the help of the safety pin I have there, I'm going to push this tiny piece of fabric into the strip. I'm making sure that the strip doesn't fall inside the bigger strip, okay? So I'll just push it down like that to the other end, as you can see. I'll push it down like that. And on getting to the other end, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it to the strip. Just take it to my sewing machine and just stitch like that while I make sure that the long tiny strip does not fall inside. Okay. Having done that, I'm going to just take off my safety pin and push my strip together to form ruffles okay so if you want your ruffles to be fuller than mine you can increase the length of your fabric you can always determine how you want your ruffle to be it could be scrunched up like mine or it could be looser than mine i hope you get it so i have my cap base on my mannequin head grow your business with professional videos create solely on your smartphone why you should choose this course if you want to reach more people to grow your online presence or business, video is a powerful tool. If you don't want to spend thousands of dollars getting someone to create videos for you, save money and do it yourself. Video is the most engaging way to communicate ideas, stories, products and other information. Videos average 62% more engagement than photos on Facebook. 64% of consumers made a purchase after watching a video on Facebook. For X, as many customers would rather watch a video about a product than read about it. Smartphones make creating videos more accessible, but many people don't know what makes a good video and how to unleash their phone's full potential. You learn from an award-winning video creator by name Impact Robert. He has trained over 1,000 students globally. Later. What you will learn from Impact Robert. How to shoot professional and quality videos with your phone. How to edit videos with your phone the fast, simple and easy way. How to create attention-grabbing video intro slash outro. How to animation affects moving objects to your videos. How to create whiteboard animations for marketing and explainer purposes. How to create cartoon animations. How to clone yourself in videos. How to remove video backgrounds. How to add sound effects to your videos. How to create marketing videos. So to register for this course, kindly head on to the description box of this video. 
write down this video. You will see the link to register for this course. And if you sign up with my link, you're going to be getting 50% discount off the normal price. Okay, so yes, we are back to what we are really here for. So sorry for taking your time. Like I said earlier in this video, please watch the video on how I made this cap. The link is in the description box below. So I'm going to start arranging my ruffles on my cap. How I want it. I mark where I want it to start from and where it's going to end. Okay, so I'll just use my strip, the inner strip as a guide. All right, I just pull like that. It serves as a guide for me. And I can easily take it off once I'm okay with what I have on my cap. Okay, so I'll just cut off the excess strip, the excess inner strip, and I'll stitch what I have there to my bigger strip. Okay, so I'm going to be placing my ruffles now on my cap using the UHU glue just to have it in place before I finally tack. So I would like you to please watch this video to the end to see the finishing i'm going to be attaching three different ruffles on this cap if you want, you want it lesser you can make it just two but i think the three ruffles the three pieces of ruffles is what made the beauty come out well okay so i'll just place my ruffle on the cap as you can see and i attach with my glue then after after which I use my needle and thread to secure it properly. so i'm going to place the second ruffle onto it like this and place the third one the same way and secure the way i did the first one i'll use my glue at first and tack with needle and thread 